Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a Chevy or GMC vehicle guys and you have codes such as P0107 or even could be a few more codes guys, they will be listed in the description of the video below guys. We will explain how to fix these codes. Now this is a code that relates to a map sensor. We're going to explain where usually you can find the map sensor. We're going to show you how we're going to scan the system and how we will find out if that map sensor is bad. So, quick introduction guys, we will have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission here guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to your channel and like the video. Hopefully guys you will find the information helpful and it will help you fix your problem. If you need to buy any parts guys, you can check out the link in the description of the video below. Uh, that's where we get most of our parts from, it's quick shipping, good price, so we really like it. So, let's start on it now. Let me explain now guys what computer we'll be using, that scanner right here, very inexpensive guys, if you're on the market for a good scanner, consider this one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, you can see where we purchased ours from. You need to find your OBD connector for your Chevy GMC vehicle guys, ok, it looks like this one, all of them are the same since 1996 guys, and you're going to connect the scanner, ok, the computer, just like that. Ok, pretty simple so far, right, now I'm going to go inside and I'm going to turn guys our ignition okay switch on now let me explain a few things you will notice that your engine light will be on guys engine light will be on uh, you may notice that the car may not get uh, as good mileage as before uh, you may notice some horsepower decrease power decrease but not uh, so radical guys with that sensor not being connected i mean it really depends on the conditions but Usually it's a little bit hard to detect that something is wrong with the car unless you see your engine light on. So, car is on. Now, this is the scanner of the computer, guys. We're going to click OBD here. Okay, it's connecting now, you can see. And it's going to give us a screen now in a little bit. It will explain a few things. Okay, codes found one. And let me show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the car quiz, by the way. I'll start the car. Okay, and check it out. Engine light just stays on, guys. Okay, no matter what you do, I'll turn the light off, even though you can see it a little bit better. And engine light is on. So, excuse me, a little bit shaky here. So, I'll turn the car off, turn the ignition on only. Now, we're going to enter the diagnostic tube. And you have three different modules on some Chevys. You may have one, two, or three, depending how many parts of the computer it can read. Usually our codes, guys, are under the one with eight. It really depends. Check all of them, by the way, for codes, each one of them, because you may have an extra code somewhere. We're going to click read codes, and we're going to check stored codes first, and then we'll check pending codes. One out of one, it says P0107, manifold absolute pressure, sensor now we go back i'll select pending under pending codes guys the same thing so let's go ahead see the live data now and i'll show you how we know that this sensor is not working guys and to know what to do after that so we're going to click go back we're going to select now okay live data right here under live data you can see all the parameters guys most of the engine sensors and you can find out if something is wrong i'm going to explain that in just a second and what you need to uh, look for so what is doing now actually it's getting guys the whole system it's trying to uh, see which uh, uh, which sensors are available which are not and all that stuff and what i'll do now i'll start the car okay by the time it's loading yep it loaded we'll click view data complete data set or you can just select a custom one if you want and we need to find the one that says map sensor or a manifold absolute pressure sensor in our case guys oh right there map sensor that's in kpa q pascals i think uh, you can convert that to psi if you want in the settings of the scanner guys but ours shows zero so it's not getting any reading i'll go i'll go ahead and rev the engine up check out the rpms they go up okay and that's not showing anything so let me turn the car off and show you guys what we need to do now to fix that problem and how to take care of it now let's go outside i'll have the hood open everything and we'll explain what needs to be replaced so it doesn't matter guys if you have a four cylinder six or eight cylinder the procedure will be about the same guys you have your engine now here 
You have your air filter box, that's the intake hose, that's ma uh, MAF sensor. It stands for mass airflow sensor, it detects how much air it's getting in the engine, guys. It may even have a few more, uh, a few more things inside, like uh, checking the air temperature as well, the intake air temperature. Follow your hose, you need to find your intake manifold. On a uh, four-cylinder engine, usually you have the intake manifold on one side, exhaust on the other one. There are some exceptions, but not very uh, often. And on the intake manifold, guys, some somewhere on the intake manifold, you're going to have a sensor, okay, like this one, mounted to the intake manifold, usually with one bolt. And that sensor, what it does, it actually, guys, uh, it actually reads the pressure in the manifold. That's why it's called ma uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor. And it detects how much pressure we have in the manifold. And if that sensor is not working, okay, you're going to get that code and maybe even a few more depending on how it fails. Now, how you remove it, you just disconnect that wire here, not very complicated, remove the bolt, pull it out, it has an O-ring, and remove it, guys. We have a video how to do that on the channel, but in today's video, we'll go ahead, replace it, and see if that takes care of the problem. That's the purpose of the video, guys. So, that's what we'll be doing, and next, we'll see if the new sensor will fix our engine light on. So, the new map sensor, guys, has been installed. If you need to purchase one, it's in the description of the video below. Check it out. So, what I'll do now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. Okay, not starting the car. Turn the ignition on. Now, there it says no communication. So, what we're going to do, okay. Uh, first, okay, let's go ahead and see if we can connect to the, okay, to the live data again. Okay, even right now it says that we have 95 kPa pressure in that manifold. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car. I haven't even reset the light engine light on yet. And check it out now, it's responsive, guys. Okay, right here, 39, 38. I'm going to rev the car up a little bit. You can see how it moves, guys. That's how it should be. So definitely, guys, that's a work sensor, a working sensor. This is the engine RPMs. This is the sensor right here. So that's definitely taking care of the problem so far. Now, only thing left is to turn the engine light off. How we do that? We turn the ignition on, we go back, and we're going to select erase codes. Are you sure you want to erase codes? Yep. Let's start the car now. And what we have now, guys, check it out. We don't have any engine light on at all. So that definitely takes care of the problem on Chevy or GMC vehicle. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel guys for more videos and see you guys next time.